Hello, uh, my name is Brian Lerner and I'm an immigration attorney. I thought I would talk to you a little more today about getting the green card through marriage. A little more specifically about what requirements are and when someone can and can't do it. Uh, basically, if you being the foreign national entered the country legally, even if you're out of status, uh, you're able to adjust through an exception uh, if you marry a U.S. citizen without having to leave the country. If you have been out of status for over uh, a year and you leave, then minus some exceptions, you're not going to be able to come back for 10 years. So you do want to be able uh, to show and prove that you entered the country legally. Uh, another uh, important fact is that when you usually come here on, for example, a visitor visa, that's exactly what it means. You're coming here to visit. So if you come here and later at an interview you say that uh, the only reason you really came here was to get married and to uh, obtain uh, lawful permanent residency, uh, they will most likely say that you have committed fraud or that you uh, misrepresented what your true intentions were at the time. So uh, when you come and visit, uh, one thing, do not get married within 30 days of entering the U.S. or that will be fraud and don't get married within 31 to 60 days because that is presumed to be fraud. So you will want to get married after 60 days uh, to avoid those issues. Then, when you file the petition, you can file it with a work permit application and so forth, and within about a month to two months, if it's done properly, you'll get your work permit, and then the final interview for the green card or the conditional green card will be uh, about six months to a year later. Okay, this is uh, my green card through marriage talk. I happen to be in a coffee shop right now, so if you heard some other noises, uh, hope it didn't bother you, uh, but hope you did learn a little bit. Thank you.